In this video, we'll be discussing the apply functions in R. And so the first function we're going to start with is the sapply function. And what this allows us to do is to apply a function to each element of a vector. So let's say that vector is 1 through 6. The way in which we use sapply is we can real type sapply and put the vector 1 through 6 and then the function that we would like to apply to each element of the vector. So I'm going to just create a function here that squares each element. And so if we run that we see that each element of the vector was in fact squared. And the second function we'll discuss is the lapply function. What this function does is take as input a list and then applies a function to each element of that list. And so the way in which we'll use this is let's create a list, m is equal to list 1, 2, and 3. And then, so here we see the list, and then we use the lapply function as follows. The first input is the list, and then the second input is the function we'd like to apply to the list, to each element of the list. And so function of x, x squared, if we run that, you see that each element of the list was in fact squared. Now thirdly, we're going to talk about the mapply function. The mapply function allows us to use functions that take two inputs. And so let's create a function here, a function of x and y, which simply sums x and y. And so if we use the function on 1 and 2, we see the answer is 1 plus 2, which is 3. And so if we were to have as inputs 5 and 7, see that the answer is 5 plus 7, which is 12. And so you see that this function takes in two variables. And so the way we'd use the mapply function is by typing mapply the function, but then the first input of the function, so this is, would be the x variable, let's say it's 1, and then the second input is 2. And so if we run this, we see it's 3. And then if we were to change this to 5 and 7, we expect 12. And another way we can use it is that we can actually give as the inputs a vector, so 1 through 3. Then let's say we wanted to add 1, 1 through 3 to 1 through 3, respectively. So 1 will be added to 1, 2 will be added to 2, and 3 will be added to 3. And here we see the expected output. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6. And so, moving on to the tapply function, the way in which we use this function is that we first supply a, a vector, and then we, secondly, we apply labels for that vector, and then we supply the function that we would like to, to use per group. And so, to demonstrate that, let's say we're using 1 through 6 again as the first element. Now the labels, so I'm gonna, let's call it cat, 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 and then dog, dog, dog meaning that 1, 2, and 3 have the label cat, and then 4, 5, and 6 have the label dog. And so if we took a mean per group, the cat group would have a, the mean of 1, 2, and 3, and then the dog group would have the mean of 4, 5, and 6. And so let's use mean. And here you see the cat, so the mean of 1, 2, and 3 is 2, and the mean of 4, 5, and 6 is 5. Lastly, the apply function allows us to apply a function either row-wise or column-wise to a matrix. And so I'm going to use the iris data. So let's say I'm going to subset the iris data to only use the first three rows and the first three columns. That looks like this. And now suppose we wanted to take the sum of each of the rows. And so the, the sum of the first row would be 5.1 plus 3.5 plus 1.4. So that's 10. The sum of the second row would be 4.9 plus 3.0 plus 1.4, which is 9.3. And so a quick way for us to do this is if we type apply iris, the data is the first input. Now the second input, if we put a 1, that means we want to apply the function row-wise. If we put a 2, it means we want to apply the function column-wise. And so let's put 1, and then let's put sum as the function we'd like to use, row-wise. And here you see the first for the first row the sum is 10, for the second row the sum is 9.3, and for the third row it's 9.2. If we wanted to do a column wise, so let's add it manually column wise. Column wise that'd be 5.1 plus 
4.9 plus 4.7. So the first should be 14.7 for the first column. The second column, 3.5 plus 3.0 plus 3.2. So the second column should be 9.7. So all we'd have to do is change the 1 to a 2 to apply the sum column wise. And here we see the expected outputs. And so this has been a fun this has been a video on how to use the apply functions in R. Thanks for watching.